So Dwayne Wade continues his transgender tour, and now apparently he's got a new documentary coming out, which, you know, this is what I was saying initially, that this was a publicity thing, to keep his name in the limelight, to keep his wife's name in the limelight. You know, that it wasn't about helping anybody, and, you know, they're using that poor kid to exploit, you know, exploit this thing. It's, it's completely ridiculous, but it's getting worse and worse and worse. So I'm going to play this clip of this interview, man. You're, you're going to see the, the, the complete lunacy of it. A lot of you guys see me as a superhero. NBA super... Nobody sees you as a superhero, Wade, but all right. Star Dwayne Wade is opening up like never before in the new ESPN documentary, D. Wade, Life Unexpected. The 38-year-old revealing details about not only his professional life, but his family as well. Raising his five children including 12-year-old daughter, Zaya. 12-year-old son. 12-year-old son. Who recently came out as transgender. You know, and that's funny, because I remember initially, I remember maybe it was probably about a year ago, that his son was at the gay pride parade at like 11 years old, 10, 11 years old, however old, with Gabrielle Union and how ridiculous, ridiculous that was. You know, like, why is this kid at that parade? You know, like, that's completely unnecessary. And they're posting it on social media. And that's when he was gay, but now he's transgender. And that's that's the thing. So, you know, it's not cool to be gay anymore, you know? Gay is very common now, you know? It's not a big thing. But what's the new cool thing that they're pushing? Transgender. So now, oh, I'm transgender. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, done it again. Wade says he and his wife, actress Gabrielle Union, didn't have... That's, and this is, this who I, is who I firmly believe is behind this. Gabrielle Union. The demon Gabrielle Union. She's the one that's pulling the strings because she's she's really really entrenched in Hollywood. You know now she's with Dwayne Wade. And if you know if you look at her c career, people don't know this, but in high school she dated Jason Kidd. So she's been doing this basketball player thing for a long time. Have all the answers when Zaya first approached them and began educating themselves to support educating, educating themselves. Okay, right, their educating. When I was a kid, I never knew. If I was around someone who was gay, transgender, I never knew. You mean to tell me that when you were coming up, that you didn't know who was gay and who wasn't gay? I find that really, really hard to believe. Now, not everybody is, is very out with their sexuality. But the majority of people that you know that are gay, you know they're gay. It's especially like... Once you're a teenager, early 20s, like, you know. So I don't know what this... Oh, I didn't know. Okay. He had to educate himself. He's going to say that again. Watch. So when Zion came out to us, I had to, to get educated on. On every scenario and every situation. Okay, let me tell you what edu educating means. When these people say, oh, I had to get educated, I wasn't educated, that's bullshit. What education is code word for is indoctrination and reprogramming so when people say oh you're not educated on transgenderism and you need to get educated no what they mean is you need to adopt what we believe and you need to become indoctrinated and we need to reprogram your thinking and they're, they're, what they're trying to do now is to reprogram society it's not education it's reprogramming and it starts with the children and i'm still being educated so my yeah you're still being programmed and brainwashed by by holly weird and by gabrielle union Ciao comes home and say hey dad i feel that i am a she yeah what if your kid comes home and says that i'm i'm buzz lightyear or space ranger you're gonna go along with that you're gonna say oh yeah you're an astronaut and you're you're a space ranger you know kids need to be guided by their parents they don't need to be you know you don't need to entertain this type of stuff my job is to help you become who you are zaya's brother zaire yeah become who you who you are, who you want to be. Okay, that, that's that's not your job as a parent. Sharing these photos of the two of them growing up, posting on Instagram, I have been blessed to have my best friend, Zaya, with me for 12 years. We did everything together, but the one thing we never did was leave each other behind. I don't care what they think, Z. You are my best friend, and I love you. Union sh See, they're pulling they're pulling at heartstrings right there. That, that, that's all they're doing. They're playing this game and pulling at your heartstrings. Sharing this intimate conversation between Zaya and her father. Even when people are being mean. Yeah, I think, and I know it can get tough. Definitely. See, I... Why are they filming this and posting this? If this is a private conversation between Dwayne Wade and his son. Why is Gabrielle Union posting? Do you see what I'm talking about here? Do you see what she's doing to keep her name in the limelight? 
but these, I think you these people are sick. Push through and you will be the best you. Oh, it is wonderful to have Dwayne Wade here with us. First of all, thank you so much for, you're here to talk about the documentary and you, you got permission from Zaya for us to have this discussion yes, that you had, that you started with Ellen that just got so much reaction. How is she handling all of this? You got permission from your 12 year old. As a parent, you shouldn't even be discussing your 12 year old on TV. Attention and people that are talking and now know her story. Yeah, she's, she's a kid that yeah. wants to focus on school. She's a kid, exactly. So she shouldn't be making those decisions. Right, today she has a, a mock trial at school that she's stressing about. And she's like, Dad, I just wanna, I wanna, I, I, I came out to everyone because I wanted to be me. Mm. And I'm thankful that I'm able to be me, but I need to focus on my trial at school. You know, you guys handle that, but like, she, she's focused and... Yeah, so they're basically exploiting, exploiting this kid. Because it's almost like the kid could care less. The kid's worried about school and things that kids worry about. Meanwhile, their parents are parading, you know, him or her around. But I think for her and myself and my wife and our family, we love the fact that she doesn't have to hide who she is. She seems wise beyond her 12 years because... <laughs> How, how, how can you say, how can you say somebody, a 12 year old that decides that I'm not a, I'm not a boy anymore. I'm a girl is wise beyond their, beyond their years. Do you see, understand how mentally ill these people are? Now I'm not, I'm not going to play the whole clip because it's, it's just going to be, you know, a bunch of the same stuff, but, it, but here's the deal. The society that we're living on, living in, I should say you know, is this modern day feminist society, right? And it's new age feminism. And I'm not going to get into the difference between original feminism and new age feminism. I think people know what I'm talking about when I say new new age feminism and wokeness and man hating and all the other stuff, right? Because there's a difference between the initial feminism. But basically, you look at that and it's essentially what it is. It's a war on masculinity and it's a, it's a war on men. And they want to reprogram men to be docile to be more feminine easily and to easily control them. Now they want to program them to be women. It's it's a complete joke and it, these people are sick and these people are, it's it's really, really sad to see somebody like Dwayne Wade, who you know is a role model for a lot of young people, you know, an all time great basketball player, to see him go down this rabbit hole, man. It's really sad to see him. He's lost, he's finished, he's done. You said that she helped you and the family have a better understanding and helped you with this how did how was she able to do that she helped Dwayne wade and the family have a better understanding a 12 year old kid helped adults have a better understanding on transgenderism and how i'm really a girl and you're wrong and biology is wrong okay okay well she is our leader and She's our leader. You're the head of the household. You're supposed to be the leader. You're an you're an adult. You're a grown up. How is your twelve year old the leader? Man, oh Jesus Christ! It just it just gets worse and worse and worse. I, I think when her the conversation we had, the one thing about it with, with parents is have conversations with your kids. Um, you know, Zaya earlier. Yeah, you definitely need to have conversations with your kids, and you have to lead them in the right way, and tell them that, tell them when they're wrong. And tell them that when you know they're not the right age to make life-altering decisions, that's your role as a parent, not to humor them and not to say, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 you do whatever you want. You're right. I, I don't know. You're more educated on this topic than I am. You want to do two things: she knew straight and she knew gay. Mm -hmm. But Zaya started doing more research. She was the one who sat down with us as a family and started doing more research. And look, I said this before, and I said this in the previous video. It's the outside influence. It's the influence of Hollywood and social media. So she started doing research. She knew straight and gay. Now look, I, I think there's a big distinction between being homosexual and transgender. I'm of the belief personally that some people are just gay. It is what it is. They're attracted to the same sex and it is what it is. Whether you agree with it or not, it is what it is. Thinking your another sex is a completely, completely different story. So basically now this, again, it goes back to the indoctrination here. Say, hey, I don't think I'm gay, 
be, and she she went down the list and said, you know, this is how I identify myself. This is my gender identity, right? I identify myself as a young lady. Um, I think I'm a straight trans because I still like, I like boys. I'm a straight trans? Do you understand how sick these people are? Now again, again, it goes back to programming because we're gonna reach a point where, and I, I can't wait for it to happen, when you're gonna start having these incidents where people, people are gonna say, well, I'm, I'm a woman, I don't need to tell somebody that I'm transgender. I don't need to tell somebody that I had surgery. And I wanna see what happens. I wanna see what happens. What are the consequences of that? So it was just, it was a, a process for us to sit down with our daughter and find out who she is and what she likes and not put something on her because as, as parents, we put our hopes and we put our fears on our kids. Right. And with Zaya, we decided to, to listen to her and she's leading us along this, along this journey. You can... She's leading us. Leading you where, to hell? We have to put this in the documentary. Oh. Why did you, and what was that family discussion to reveal this this yeah. way? Well, I struggled on how much I wanted to talk about in the doc. Um, mm -hmm. I actually didn't talk about it a lot, but I knew if I put it in the doc at all, it would be a, a big conversation. And we struggled with that from, yes, we didn't understand that our daughter's 12 years old. We struggled with what once what people would say about a 12 year old making a decision about her life. But we also know our child, right? And so we, we sit back and we say, you know what, as parents, it's our job to sit back and, and figure out and find the most the, the information that, you know, we can. And we Gabrielle Union, that previous picture she just looked like she was possessed, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's 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 something there. Sit down together as a family. We've reached out to as many people as we can. We've researched as many things as we can to try to to try to help not only our family but other people in this journey and along the way. Because one thing we do know as a family, you know, we've been through so many different things that other people and other families go through, and they say thank you guys for speaking out on it. Thank you guys for being the face and the voice of this because we can't. And that's what we're trying to do. We we know it's other families out there that's dealing with their their kid finding themselves and learning who they are. And what is your advice to a parent who is struggling to accept their child for for any reason? Yeah. Um, it's look. It's one thing to accept. It's another thing to promote. It's another thing to encourage. You know, and that's what people are. You know, what people are losing. They're missing the point in that. You know, because there's a, there's a difference between it. I want to hear what his advice is. I, I certainly probably wouldn't take it. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and act like we have all the answers. Right. I'm not going to sit here and act like... Um, well, you don't have any answers, clearly. Um, before our child came home and set us down, that we was not ignorant parents when it comes to the... You guys weren't ignorant. You see, that's and that's another, that's another code word where people want to throw this word ignorant around to try to say, oh, you can't question me. You're just ignorant. Okay. Earl. We're like when I say we're learning from our twelve-year-old, we're literally learning from our child. So, you're. Oh my God. I wonder if he was coached, man, because he's saying the same things. He's saying, "I needed to be educated. We are learning from our child." Man, this is this is sad. The biggest thing is is have an open mind. Go out and research. Ask your child. Ask other people questions about this because this conversation is real. Our twelve-year-old deals with this. This is her life every day. This is no game to us. We're, we're about protecting her heart. We're about protecting her joy. Um, yeah, you're doing a terrible job. And to, to do that, we're, we have to support them. And how do you protect her? Because I think some parents are, they, they want to accept and they, they, they're understanding, but they're, as a parent, you want to protect your child. And you know yeah. as much support as you have received. There have anyway, listen, I, I'm not going to play the rest of the clip. I mean, I think you guys get the point. Uh, this is really, really, really sad what's happened to Dwayne Wade and how they're pushing this and the reprogramming. And it's really, really, really awful, man. It's really sad. I hate to see this, you know, but it is what it is, man. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's Mike from Bensonhurst. Keep banging.